Welcome to another video, Stephen Chitty Photography. Now, if you've seen my other channels, Starman and A Walk on the Wild Side, particularly A Walk on the Wild Side because it's a vlogging channel, you might be interested to know what type of camera I use. I get a lot of people asking me because it's very smooth video and it's really impressive. But I'm going to show you now, it's this one here. This is the DJI Osmo Pocket Camera. And DJI happened to be the world's largest manufacturer of drones. You know, all those flying things that are flying all over the place at the moment. I think they own about 80% of the market. Anyway, their technology for stabilizing the cameras on those drones has gone into this. And this is the way it works. It doesn't even look like a camera, does it? I'll turn it on so you can see how it works. Can you see how the, uh, the thing spins around on the top? Well, that is a gimbal. Can you see there? So I can move this thing around. Can you see that? Isn't it amazing? I can wobble the thing around. And this enables you to have really, really smooth video because there's all sorts of gyroscopes going on here. And no matter how you shake it, it's always going to have very, very smooth video. And that's how I get that silky smooth kind of video when I'm doing my walk arounds on, on the other channel. So there you go. And here's another thing I like about the Osmo. You know when you've got your mobile phone or maybe you've got your camera, you have to hold it up like this and you're filming something. You, you like this filming around and people might be looking at you funny and saying, what, what are you filming? You know, asking you questions, that sort of thing, you know. With the Osmo, that doesn't happen because very, very discreet due to the design. Can you see the way the camera is designed? The screen on there, you can hold it like that and look down and you can be, I could be panning a building or something like that. And no one's going to, you know, look at me funny and think, what's he filming? Because I'm holding it like this, you know. Also, you can have your mobile phone. Like I say, you can attach your mobile phone to it just to give you a bigger screen and, and you can hold it like that. And it just gives you a bigger screen. You only have to hold it down here like this. You're not having to hold it up to your head. And that's another thing I really like about this camera. And anyway, they've actually replaced this now with a newer model. So I'm going to show you the newer model. This one here, look at this one. This is the Osmo Pocket 2. Now this one does have an extra sort of gadget on the bottom of it, which you can attach to that one. So I'll just turn that one off. So that this is a new one and it's a little bit different. It's got a switch on the side to turn it on. So I'll turn it on there instead of on the front. And there you go there. Uh, it's come, it's, now the, the main thing about this one is for me, is that the newer model has a wider lens. I'm not too fussed about myself, but it's more about the sensor, the sensor that's inside this camera. That's the actual thing that makes the image for the video and the photographs is larger. It's about 50% larger, probably a bit more than 50% larger. And that means that the quality of the video will be better from this than the first one. It should also be better in low light than the first one. But anyway, let's take a closer look at these side by side. Okay, so here they are side by side. Now we'll be doing a comparison of the two out on the streets um, later on in the video. So stay tuned for that. So I'll just point out some of the differences. Like I said, this one does have the, the second version does have this extension on it here, which makes it look quite a bit bigger than the old one, but they're pretty much the same size. So there's the old one there, as you can see. The new one also has this joystick on, which can be used on the older one. Now this attachment here on the older one is for a mobile phone. So if you think the screen's too small and you'd like a bigger screen, you can attach it to your mobile phone like that. And that makes it much easier to use when you've got a bigger screen like your mobile phone. So that's just an option that you can use. So that's, that's quite a good option that I use that sometimes. But anyway, the differences with the new one uh, that you can see are, um, well, I will mention this first on this attachment here, which is possibly available for the old one as well. There's a microphone socket. Now you can put your microphone into there, obviously. And I think you can also use your earphones as well to check on the mic levels, which is quite important. And this attachment also has quarter inch um, thread for a standard camera tripod which is really really handy so you can stick it on a tripod and film yourself on this side here, i did mention that it's got a, an extra on off button on the old one you hold this button down here but on this one you hold that button down there apart from that they're pretty much the same i'll just mention that obviously the lens is wider it's got more like a 20 millimeter lens compared to a 24 millimeter lens and also the sensor size and this camera now you can actually tell if you put the two together that the the housing for the camera is very, very slightly bigger. And can you see the grills on the back? Probably for the, the heat, you know, the heat given off by the sensor, uh, bigger on the newer one. So you can see that, you can tell there is a difference there going on there. So it's slightly beefier, but really, you know, without looking closely, you can't really tell. The second one also has 
this sort of red ring on the front now as well the, the lens is also a bit faster i think it's f 1.8 compared to f2 so another reason why it's going to be a little bit better in low light anyway now that we've had a close look at the two the bodies of the two cameras it's now time to go out and try them out side by side okay so i'm out in the garden and before i actually go out and do the test i just want to show you how i'm attaching the two cameras together so i can do a side by side test and i've used a mobile phone clamp to attach these two cameras together so each film will be exactly the same i'll also be using the onboard microphone on each camera now i think the onboard microphone on the original osmo is pretty good it's not too bad at all so we'll see if there's any difference with the new one um, so anyway that's how i'm going to do the test so let's get out and get started okay it's time to get this started and let's go into the park and see how they compare one thing i've noticed already is not only the wider angle of the mark ii but it also seems to be used in a hdr mode i'm not sure what you think the video looks a bit more uh, the exposure looks a bit more even you can see that uh, well on the screen the uh, the osmo 2 looks very blue to me not sure if it looks like on the like that on the edit but anyway how does this look this way looking towards the sunset it looks better on the screen of the Osmo 2 how it will look in the edit I'm not sure anyway let's head this way across the bridge I haven't got any food for you, I'm afraid. How does this look now? Looking across the lake, oh look. Another one's coming along now. I can fit both of them in quite easily on the Osmo 2. I have to kind of point it straight at the swan with the first model. Looking towards the uh, sunset now, how does this look? Doesn't look a lot different on either, exposure wise. Anyway. As I head back, the light's going to be getting lower, so this will be a good test of the new model to see how it handles the lower light. It should look cleaner. This here over here, they've even got the uh, little kiosk open. Let's go and check it out. Just coming up to the main cafe here in Stanley Park, Blackpool. How's it looking?
Another feature that the second version has is a zoom feature, but it's a cheat really. It's not an optical zoom. What it does is, if I push this now, can you see? I think the way it does it is partly by zooming into the sensor. Obviously it's a digital zoom, but it uses more of the pixels. So it uses the 4K mode. If you're not shooting in 4K, it actually uses some of the pixels. So you don't lose um, any uh, quality when you zoom in, or as much as you would if it was just zooming into the sensor and not using all the pixels, if you know what I mean. So there you go, that was my video comparison of the DJI Osmo Pocket 1 and Osmo Pocket 2 cameras. Now this is the first time I've ever done a video like this ever, so it might look a little bit disjointed, but hopefully you get the idea. Yeah, my editing software unfortunately doesn't allow me to show two screens together. I think I'm going to have to move up to more advanced editing software and then I can put two screens on at the same time. And I'm actually filming this outro using the Osmo Pocket 1. So how does it look? Is it following my face? It does have a follow option where it follows your face. See? This is a good option this. How does it look? Anyway, what did you think? I actually think, a bit disappointed of the Mark II actually, but I think it could be something to do with the settings. The funny thing is it looked very blue. Do you think it looked kind of blue, maybe kind of purple and kind of, ooh, kind of washed out a little bit there? I'm just wondering whether that was the HDR settings on the Mark II version, but I looked into the menu, I looked for HDR and I could not find HDR anywhere in there at all. And also I think that the noise, the low light performance between the two didn't really look a whole lot different. So I think I might have to do a follow up version. If I get a chance to, uh, to do another test again, I will do. But anyway, if you want to see more of what the Osmo Pocket 1 is capable of, please follow me on my other channel, a walk on the wild side. I'll have a link down below. Let me know what you think of the results as well in the comments and uh, I'll see what I can do on a follow-up if I get a chance. But anyway, if you like the video, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and I'll see you again next time.